In this era of college basketball, if you're the head coach of a Power 6 program, maybe not a Power 6 program that's going to attract all these high-profile recruits out of high school, you have to be good at identifying talent and identifying system fits in the transfer portal. Maybe that looks like seeing a guy who put up big numbers at a smaller school, maybe the team wasn't very good, but you're confident those aren't just empty calories and that he's still going to be able to produce if you bring him into your program. Alternatively, that could look like seeing a guy who isn't getting a lot of opportunities at his school sitting on the bench, not getting a ton of minutes, but you know that if you give him those opportunities at your program, he's gonna produce, he's a really good system fit. That's a skill for a coach to have. And Steve Forbes at Wake Forest, really good at that. Forbes has been doing this for a couple years now. Two years ago, he brought in Alondis Williams from Oklahoma, ended up being ACC Player of the Year. I saw this past week, he dropped 55, eight and seven in a G League game. He also brought in Jake LaRavia that season from Indiana State, who went on to be a first-round pick for the Memphis Grizzlies. Last year, brings in Tyree Appleby from Florida. His first-team all-conference, led the conference in points per game and assists per game. And this season, once again, Wake Forest is getting a ton of production from transfers. You got Hunter Salas, who came in from Gonzaga, former five-star, who just struggled to break into an experienced rotation up in Spokane. He's leading Wake Forest in points per game this year, 18 points a game on like 50% from the field, 40% from three, having a really great season. And you've got Boopy Miller, who came over from Central Michigan, a little bit of a different situation. He only played four games last year because of a foot injury, but this year he's averaging 17 points, four assists a game, again, on like 50% from the field, 40% from three. Efton Reed also came over from Gonzaga. He's not putting up the gaudy scoring numbers that Wake Forest guards are, but nonetheless, putting in work down low. Eight points, nine boards, two blocks a game. Also not pictured, Wake Forest has Andrew Carr, who came in from Delaware two seasons ago. He's averaging 13 points and eight boards, shooting 52% from the field. Steve Forbes just gets the transfer portal. He just gets it. And that production that Wake Forest has gotten from these transfers has them off to a great start. 12-4 and four to start the year, 4-1 and one to open ACC play. They've won 10 of their last 11 games.